talons, the labyrinth, all punishment for exposing the court. Hmm. To think Jacob Kane ever thought we could be on the same side. The labyrinth wasn't just meant to kill us. The court wanted to get in our heads. It might have worked. We'll be okay, Tim. Will we? <laughs> Batman didn't kill people, but where would he stand on soldiers lining up to be reborn as these monsters? I used to be dead. You think I'm a monster? We have one setback. And this is where you go, Tim? Murder? I get steering him away from killing people, but the labyrinth was more than a setback, Babs. Don't talk about me like I'm not here. You're not Bruce. None of you are. Enough! Gotham practically lined up to kill Batman. Every time Bruce came home, bloodied, near death, I patched him up. Just as I now do for you. He was often angry, but he never stooped to their level. And neither will you. Alfred's right. Batman had a code. No matter how tough this gets, we can't betray it. The court is made up of Gotham's founding families. They'll protect their own like only family will. They may be related, but they aren't family. Not like we are. The evidence we uncovered against Kane at the hotel is pretty much bulletproof. Then our best course of action isn't war. It's prosecution. I don't think Kane's gonna honor a warrant. He will if we help the cops serve it. The same cops currently gunning for every cape in Gotham? I can think of at least one still on our side. Is some wild shit. <laughs> I knew you'd been in it, but damn, Alfred. <laughs> After my last tour, I chose to come to Gotham. That path led me to a life I'd never imagined. Tech-powered street gangs, secret societies, heroes in capes. <laughs> Sounds so ridiculous when you say it out loud. I thought I was done with war. All I did was trade one for another. The combatants change. The battlefronts shift. But the costs still add up. Both have the scars to show for it. Bruce blamed himself for your death, and for the darkness that followed. But even in the worst of times, we saw that you had the potential to emerge as a better man. Some days I barely feel human. Let alone a better man. He believed in you. And was proud of how far you had come. Especially after everything you've been through.
received a call from Detective Montoya. She says she needs to speak with you about an arrest warrant. Sounds good, Belfry. <laughs> to you. You're doing it better? Montoya, give me some good news. I've got enough evidence to lock Kane up for years. It's the warrant that's the problem. Is the judge giving you a hard time? I've been to see every judge I know and no one will sign it. They're scared. Even if they don't know about the court, they know not to mess with Kane. What about Judge Moreno? She's put away some interesting people. Gotham's old money types. Elena was one of the first names on my list. But I guess things got bad over that whole Chelsea Tunnel case. She's gone into hiding. <laughs> Did you forget what I do for a living? I'll ask around. Find some upstanding citizens to point me in the right direction. Get that warrant signed, and you know I'll serve it. I know they don't say it, but the GCPD needs you. these jerks are inside. No point in waiting around here. If I'm spotted, it's over. lab. What was Freeze doing here? So they built Freeze's machine in here. Cool, right? And we can take whatever we want? Yep. I feel like a kid in a transistor store.
Somebody went through a lot of trouble to reinforce this door. What's behind it? The ID card says, Dr. Theodore Upshot, head of cryogenic research. Victor did what he did, despite the dangers. I can say that I only enabled him, but I also absolutely enabled him. That's guilt right there. The machine we built is unstable. Untested. Of course, I insisted on the failsafe. A disruptor for the likely event that Victor uses the machine to play God. The disruptor made Victor mad. He asked if I had lost faith. I hid the thing instead of destroying it because I fear him. Almost as much as I fear the potential of what we've created. And if you're listening to this, please, forgive me. A failsafe hidden in his office? Guess everyone has secrets. Time to check out his office. The failsafe has to be around here somewhere. Hidden compartment under the floor. A classic. Belfry, I picked up a disruptor device at Quartz Labs. The scientist who built Freeze's machine built this too. Must be important. Good work. We'll wait for you back at the Belfry. Did you find anything else about Mr. Freeze at Quartz Labs? Not really. But whatever he has planned, he was willing to kill Dr. Upshot over it. At least we've got the Disruptor. If we could track down what Freeze took from the lab, it would give us a better idea of what we're dealing with. Units, shootout in progress <laughs> at Elliott Center. Multiple accidents. Too many. We can't respond to them all. Is this something in the weather report about an ice age? Be advised. Extreme weather event <laughs> in progress. Temperatures have fallen 60 degrees in just minutes. An extreme cold front? Weather doesn't do that. Not without some help. Freeze. Freeze can make weather now? Freeze can make weather now. The storm is localized around Elliott Center. We need to get there now.
Belfry. Elliot Center is covered in ice. The anomaly is on the roof. Must be freeze. Time for a closer look. GCP are in over their heads. Getting worse. I recommend you find a way inside Elliot Center quickly. Don't worry. The GCPD chopper took care of that. due to the severity of the storm. Yeah, figures. Gotta keep going. Belfry! What the hell was that? The weight of the ice may be making the building unstable. Great. Crushed and frozen. That weather machine has to go. You probably don't have much time. You came to the wrong neighborhood, pal. Center when 
Freeze arrived. Yep, there's they someone must have here. Been so scared. Let's do this quietly. Take an elevator in an emergency. You want to take the stairs? Be my guest. I'll bet these cables lead to freeze in this machine. Belfry, what's happening out there? Countless dead, and the temperature's still falling. Damn it. I'm coming for you, Freeze. Nearly there. That must be Freeze's weather machine. I'm gonna try the disruptor. Be careful. That machine is siphoning a lot of power. Planted the field disruptor. It's charging. Get away from my storm engine! What? This piece of junk? Clear out now, or you'll regret it. Irrelevant! I already have what I need! A storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it. You're gonna pay for what you've done here. The cold will take you.
secure. It was not wise to break that promise. That man's dead, Freeze. But he was working to save you. I found another way. One that demands chaos before the duel. Hey! That disruptor pulse disrupts everything, including your suit! You dare go me! Damn it! I'm trying to warn you! Give yourself to the cold! The cold will crush you! There is nowhere to run! disruptor is nearly charged. I'm afraid there isn't much time until the pulse triggers. Behold! Gotham without Batman! A disaster! A lost cause! Surrender to the ice!
Please. System overload. Cryogel cycling offline. Hard reset required. I can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah, yeah. System reset successful. Cryogel cycling online. You dead in there? You should have let me die. It would have been so much easier for you. <laughs> The weather machine is offline and the storm is clearing. That ungrateful bastard said I should have let him die. Maybe he's right. Victor always had the potential to bring disaster to Gotham. Until tonight, a kernel of humanity stopped him. And now, it's up to me. Got Freeze locked up, but his cryo weapons are still out on the streets. It will take more than that for the regulators to relinquish such impressive technology. They won't. So we have to find their stockpiles and get rid of the guns. Time for a chat with your regulator friends, then? They'll be so glad to see me. Good enough for me. Whoa, where'd you come from? Hey there. Can I get you a drink? Maybe later. I'm working. 
Fair enough. Nice to meet you, by the way. I'm David. Madam Palomara says you're the guy to talk to about shady stuff around these parts. Oh, yeah. Gotham's gangs aren't exactly subtle, especially when they're sloshed. Either that or they think the wheelchair affects my hearing. People are assholes. I'm sorry you have to deal with that. Wouldn't be so bad if I could at least get the cops to take me seriously. They won't help you, but I will. What do you got? See ya. Nope. Quiet night here. Identity verified. Location of cash added to AR device. Hey, Alfred. Did Bruce ever tell you about hiding things around the city? For emergencies, maybe? There was this cash out there. Had a lot of good stuff in it. You know, Master Bruce was fond of having a backup plan. The supplies in those compartments often saved him a long trip back to the Bat Cave. I expect if you look hard enough, you'll find similar caches across Gotham. Hmm. I'll keep an eye out for more of them then. How's it going on this fine day? Oh, night. Hello, Oswald. You look like you saw a ghost. I mean, I get that a lot, but not from you. No, not at all. Everything's fine. You want a glass of something? You know, lots of people have tried to kill me. One succeeded. But I wasn't expecting you to try to put me in the ground. Oh, no, you don't understand. They showed up with those talon things. They said they'd tear me to pieces slowly, and I figured, well, you've got none of worse scrapes. Enough. I get it. I hope we can put this behind us. It would be a shame to lose this mutually beneficial business deal we have going. Right now? Just be glad I'm not breaking your nose. Welcome back. Had a good time rubbing elbows with the beautiful people. They're not my type. So, what did you want to talk about? Straight to the point. I like that about you. So, how's about a little partnership? Thanks. I always thought about how I'd run this place. To start, I'm gonna need this office for myself. <laughs> you misunderstand me, friend. As the owner of a respected establishment, I have an interest in keeping the streets safe. You could help. You mean, take out competition? Uh, I'm not in the crime business anymore. So if I came across any unusual gear, I'd be obliged to turn it over. Upstanding citizen that I am. I'm only doing this because I'm already going after those criminals. Well, that's the spirit.
You don't need to prove anything. Be careful in there. Don't fight it. Reports of multiple robberies, all orchestrated by the regulators. They must be planning something if they need that much stuff this quickly. Dolphrey, send me what you have. I'll check it out. Sketchy pills and sketchy doctors. My favorite. Did it lead anywhere? The website for the mysterious Dr. Q seems to have vanished, but we'll keep looking. I think it's safe to assume Harley's up to something. But what? Is that not always the question with Dr. Quinzel? Yeah. Thanks, Alfred. Let me know if you find anything. Of course. like Clayface is back. Wasn't he supposed to be dead? Well, unless there's another bad guy made of clay, no. But I'll collect some samples. There's aerial surveillance here. Scan the drones and I'll reprogram them so you can fly to this location. 
used to be someone I didn't want to be. But now, I'm free. You can be too. Guys, come check this out. Dick, it's upside down. I got it. Harley's an actual shrink. Why is she selling healing bracelets? Supplements? <sighs> what the hell's a free glow egg? Mm -mm. Huh. Who would even buy that crap? She knows this stuff doesn't work. So what's her angle? Most Gothamites will see her be involved in one or more violent crimes a month. You know, statistically speaking. What's that got to do with anything? She's selling them hope. Oh, crap. Come to the Monarch Theater tonight. I've got an explosive announcement just for you. She definitely means explosive, literally. A Harley signal? Really? Belfry, you getting this? Indeed, sir. It seems Dr. Quinzel has made a spectacle of the event. I get the feeling the show has just started. Come on, Harley. Get you smart for this. Wish I could have gotten tickets. Bet we can get one here. We're good together, you and I. I got you! I was Harley Quinn. Now I'm Harley Quinn. Belfry, the freaks have the theater entrances locked up tight. There might be an old entrance, I remember. Doubtful the freaks know of it. Belvery, is that where you signed programs for adoring fans? Old actors never tell trade secrets, sir. <laughs> this must be the entrance Belvery was talking about. that. Go Belfry. Jeez. Looks like someone already set off a bomb in this place.
Look at this guy! Tear into him! Time to see what's going on here. Belfry, didn't we hear about a burglary at Daggett Labs? There was a break in the other night. Marley's got the goods, and I'm sure she could start plenty of trouble with the kind of medicine they make. Empty Daggett crates here, but still no sign of explosives. All right, keep us posted. Looks like Harley came prepared. We let our fears run us. Let our fears be the basis of us. <laughs> well, I say, screw that. Yes! Choose to be different. Choose to make choices. Choose to wreck your life. Almost there. That's too many mannequins. Dr. Q, you have in you. Oh, look! A hero coming to stop me from helping you. What do we say? Don't worry. That's why I made this. This Little thing will give you the courage to do what you always wanted to do. An implant that lets you take on the world! Don't fall for it! Harley Quinn is the last person you should trust! I bet 
You want to see it in action! Oh, boys! <laughs> Why don't you give him a demonstration? So, is this scene improv, or like what? Belfry can use my scan data to tell me what this chip does. They don't seem to be implanted with anything. Good. One less thing to worry about. Dr. Q has an extra strength model. Uh -huh. Why don't we try this again? <laughs> Say you have a shoddy product. <laughs> it helped us get you where you need to be. Isn't that right, Quinners? The 
L3. This place is rigged below. Echo protocol. Now. Belfry, any way to disarm these bombs remotely? They appear to be on a closed circuit, sir. You'll have to disarm them manually.
well. I'm so proud of you. Get your free implants from my friendly associates on your way out. Dr. Q has left the building. If you see this video, it means we're all alive. A bit boring, really. <laughs> Don't worry, it ain't all bad. I got one last little surprise for you. A in muscles and an F in showing my softer side? Huh. Figures.